Hello guys, Sanjay here. And finally, today MI5 was launched after a very long wait, and to be precise, almost two years, because MI4 was launched two years ago, and after that, they did not launch any type of flagship when it comes to MI series. And today, they just launched MI5, which is their latest flagship device that you can buy in the market. You cannot buy right now, but you will be able to buy it in coming months. And in this video, we are going to discuss the specs of MI5, uh, my initial thoughts, my initial impressions, how I think. And most important point, the pricing of MI5. So yes, we are going to discuss about all these points. And now let's get started with the specs of the MI5. So the MI5 is just 7.3 millimeters thin and it's not the thinnest phone in the world obviously. But it's pretty thin considering it's a flagship phone and it's having a 3000 mAh battery. So yes, 3000 mAh battery and I was kind of disappointed with 3000 mAh battery uh, as I was expecting it to be 4000 as Xiaomi launched the Redmi Note 3 uh, and the Redmi 3 with 4000 mAh batteries and both the devices were slim too. So I thought that with some dense technology that they use in their batteries, uh, Xiaomi will manage to get 4000 mAh battery in MI5. But that's not the case over here, but I am not at all like dissatisfied with that. 3000 mAh is still a big number. And after that, now let's talk about its weight. And as you can see over here, with 3D glass back, it's just 129 grams. 129 grams is not at all heavy in my opinion. And that's for the 3D glass back cover and not the ceramic. It has 5.15 inch display, not exactly 5 inch display. And it is 1080p, not 2K or uh, it doesn't have Quad HD display. And uh, I personally think that 1080p displays on a device are uh, more than enough 2k displays are better but if any device doesn't have a 2k display and has a 1080p display i won't bother much about that and the xiaomi mi5 comes in three variants like three color variants and three uh, variants also so you have black color which looks gorgeous in my opinion then white color and the gold color i'm kind of excited for the black color i don't know why but it, it looks quite good in my opinion which color did you like let me know about that in the comment section below so there are three variants as I said earlier, uh, so 32GB, 64GB and 128GB and huge thanks to Xiaomi for not launching the 16GB crappy variant which is kind of useless for a flagship device according to me. So with the 32GB variant you will get 3GB of RAM and Snapdragon 820 which is clocked at 1.8GHz and it won't be clocked at 2.15GHz whereas if you go to 64GB or 128GB variant both these devices will have Snapdragon 820 which is clocked at 2.15GHz but the trick here is with the 64GB variant you will get only 3GB of DDR4 RAM whereas with the 128GB variant or which is also known as Xiaomi MI5 Pro you will get 4GB of DDR4 RAM and with the 128GB variant you will also get ceramic back cover which has hardness of 9H according to Xiaomi and Xiaomi claims that the manufacturing of ceramic back cover is 3 times costlier than the glass back panel which is present for 32GB and 64GB variant so that is quite surprising and I am most excited for the Xiaomi MI5 Pro obviously but it is kind of costly also We'll talk about the pricing in a bit and when we look at pictures of Xiaomi MI5 we can see that when we look at the display there are almost near to no bezel in my opinion and that is a fantastic thing and uh, obviously Xiaomi had to do that because they took almost one year to work on Xiaomi MI5 and uh, if they took one year then they must have uh, redone the project so many times and that is the reason why we have such an amazing looking phone over here and the display of Xiaomi MI5 can hit up to 600 nits that is the maximum brightness possible and uh, MI5 doesn't have a AMOLED display it has IPS LCD display which is completely fine for me because I have used the MI3 and MI4 those phones had an amazing display even uh, the Redmi Note 3 which has amazing display in my opinion so I literally do not have any type of problem with IPS LCD panels and one interesting fact that Xiaomi has 21 patents or Xiaomi has applied for 21 patents for the display which is present on MI5 which is an incredible thing and this shows that how much research they have done on the display department and you cannot insert a memory card into Xiaomi MI5 because it doesn't have a memory card slot but Xiaomi has got you covered here too it has UFS 2.0 internal storage so the internal storage which is present will have very fast speeds and I guess that is the reason why Xiaomi MI5 scored such an huge score on the anti 2 benchmark which is almost near to 1.5 lakhs and uh, until last year we did not see much devices which scored uh, near to 1 lakh on anti 2 but now 
the devices are scoring that much so that's a good thing dual sim card slot is present on the xiaomi mi5 and on all the variants of xiaomi mi5 dual sim card slot will be present so no worries that if you buy some variant then dual sim card slot won't be present so no worries like that and very few flagship devices these days offer dual sim support and uh, xiaomi mi5 is offering that usb type c is present on the mi5 once again which is a nice thing and a future proof thing also but it's not just usb type c this time it has quick charge 3.0 also so quick charge 3.0 means it will charge the device super fast even faster than uh, quick charge 2.0 obviously because it's quick charge 3.0 and uh, i think that i do not need to talk about its metal body because it was quite obvious that xiaomi mi5 will have a full metal body is good in my opinion uh, and as i'm using the redmi note 3 which also has a full metal body and i like it so no issues with that also i just hope that it doesn't get very warm uh, because with full metal body we have seen that the devices get a little bit warm and that's uncomfortable sometimes so i really hope that and if the device doesn't want to get warm then it will need to have a software which is very optimized for the device and uh, yugo bara said that they have more people in the software department as compared to the hardware department which was quite shocking for me also and i hope that xiaomi mi5 comes with a very optimized software for that device and yes xiaomi mi5 has miui 7 based on android marshmallow which is the latest android quite new for xiaomi to launch a device with the latest android because uh, they did not launch any device with latest android earlier so anyways uh, let's keep that aside and now let's talk about camera Amazing camera guys, 4 megapixel camera, no I cannot call it megapixel because 4 ultra pixels camera in the front, 16 megapixels rear camera and not only 16 megapixel any camera, it has Sony IMX298 sensor with f2.0 aperture, 4 axis OIS uh, optical image stabilization. Uh, in the video we can see that uh, it is far better as compared to iPhone 6 and iPhone 6s plus. Uh, I hope that in real life also that's the same thing and it has very fast autofocus I I don't need to talk about that I guess because it will have a fast autofocus and the same sensor was present for the Huawei's phone uh, Huawei Mate 8 which is the flagship of Huawei or Huawei or whatever you want to call it uh, so the same sensor is present on MI5 so I hope that camera will click amazing pictures we'll need to test the camera and I will surely do a separate camera review for MI5 whenever I get it and I hope I get it by March end maybe because it's going to launch on March 1 in China so let's hope that and now let's talk about pricing because pricing is the most important thing and I will tell the prices in uh, RMB or the Chinese currency then I'll tell the prices in dollars and then the most important thing rupees because we are going to buy the phone in rupees most probably if they launch this year only otherwise Xiaomi may launch this next year also and I do believe in them that they can launch the MI5 next year in India also because they are launching the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 now when uh, Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 in China was launched so many months back so first of all let's talk about the 32GB variant with 3GB of RAM uh, DDR4 RAM which they claim that it is fast or many things like that it is obviously fast and uh, even other devices like OnePlus 2 had DDR4 RAM and I did not notice much of a difference like DDR3 to DDR4 it changed many things but it did not one of the major advantages with the DDR4 RAM is that low power consumption which I think should result in better battery life in MI5 but it did not result in better battery life on OnePlus 2 because on OnePlus 2 battery life was just okay okay uh, that might be because of 810 also 820 is present on Xiaomi MI5 so let's hope that battery optimizations for 820 are present and Xiaomi has done something amazing over there so that I will get around 7 hours of screen on time which is like a dream with a flagship phone right now and the MI5 32GB variant has a price of 1999 RMB uh, that means almost 305 dollars and it is almost equivalent to 21,000 Indian rupees so the basic model that you can get with the glass back panel 32GB internal storage and 3GB of RAM will cost you around 21,000 or minimum 28,000 and it can go up to 23,000 and now let's talk about and now let's talk about the 64 GB variant which will cost you double two double nine China RMB I do not understand this which is equivalent to 350 US dollars or around 350 US dollars the currencies keep changing as you must be knowing by now 
and it will cost you 24,000 around 24,000 in India and now let's talk about the MI5 Pro because I'm most excited about this and I need to buy this device and if I like the device too much then only I'm gonna keep it so let's talk about the price uh, it is 2699 China RMB once again I did not understand anything and that will come around 415 US dollars and yes Xiaomi MI5 Pro in India will cost you maximum of 30,000 in my opinion and if it is costing more than that then that's quite unfair with India and I hope that they launch the product this year only if they launch the product next year then they are going to lose a large amount of market in India so Xiaomi you need to launch the product this year only and I am personally a lot excited for the MI5 and for the black variant which is present over here which color and which variant are you excited for do let me know about that in the comment section below are you even excited for the MI5 because 21,000 price is uh, like mind blowing for me also because you are getting a snapdragon 820 so yeah this is it for this video guys thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and let's see if we can reach triple five likes on this video triple five likes because uh we get uh 40 percent faster gpu than snapdragon 810 so yeah and if you have not subscribed already then do hit that subscribe button because many more videos like this do come on the channel that too on regular basis so yeah thank you guys thank you for watching and do hit that subscribe button thank you